Hey, my name is Beth Beach, and my husband and I are the owners of Creekside Antiques. Dana Beach, uh, general contractor. My name is Sarah Ford Coco. My business is Decoratus Curious Antiques and Oddities. Uh, my name is Paul Lutz. We're the owners of the Orangery here in Downingtown. Hi, my name is uh, Declan Mannion. I'm co-owner of Monty McGuire's Irish Restaurants in Apollo. Hi, I'm Dave Schicchetti. Uh, I'm an urban development consultant with the Chester County Economic Development Council. I'm Andy Hicks, uh, president of TriPoint Properties. I'm Dave McGrogan. I am the CEO of the Dave McGrogan Group. Hi, my name is Jonathan Amon. I'm the owner and chef of the Monty's View. I will be in downtown. Well, we are a spoke in the wheel of these boroughs. We're just one part of it. But the, the Main Street Association is what brings everything together and drives the borough as a whole. They provide a, a forum for engaging property owners and business operators and the community to help plan for the future of that downtown in a, in a very progressive, coherent kind of way. I think what's important about what a group like Main Street can do for businesses like Stella Rosa and other businesses in town is, and I've seen this happen in towns, is keep the momentum going, keep the, keep the communication between all the groups. So it is nice uh, to come to a place where you can achieve your business objectives while benefiting the community and while having local government support you. Being business friendly is critical and uh, a Main Street uh, Association in place is very, very important to drive where the borough wants to go with the borough. There's a lot of small ideas, um, unfortunately sometimes aren't brought to the surface and I feel the Main Street group can bring that together and, and prioritize. There's too many empty stores, I'd like to see these places being rented. The Main Street Association, I have want to get involved with that because I think that would be a wonderful thing to get some more businesses maybe down on the main street down there up from us. I mean I won't even go to the mall unless I have to. I don't want to go to the mall and there's a lot of people that feel the same way. For the mom and pops to uh, really survive and do well, main street as well as the rest of the borough, uh, we need to create more retail opportunities, have enough here in the, in the borough that people want to come, that it becomes a destination unto itself. Yeah, we've gone to Kenneth Square, we go to Phoenixville. I'd like to go to my own town on Friday nights. Of course, Kenneth Square is bigger, and they have a lot of the little stores. They do the first Friday thing, they have art galleries, they have this, they have that. In Oxford, I know there are some things being done in Phoenixville. Westchester has a very successful program, an effective downtown organization I think is one of the things you'll see in most successful downtowns. Well, they uh, they definitely helped us with the approvals for the, the painting out front, things that you know, we wanted to get done out front. They helped us with the patio. Um, they've actually encouraged us to increase the patio, and it's something I'd, I'd love to talk to them about more now that we're thinking about buying the building here and staying here. Uh, my business uh, in Downingtown is only about three weeks old. I'm a new business owner here in the West End. I have owned this business for approximately two years. Some of the lessons I've learned is how important it is to have a community of business businesses and how important it is for us all to, to work together to make any given community successful. Downingtown is unique. We like the small businesses, the family owned businesses. I think that's truly important. That way they take pride in what they do there. It's a family organized that actually lives in the community as well. The support we've gotten from Main Street, the support we've gotten from the borough is really what's kept us kind of going and kept us wanting to kind of keep doing business here. We would prefer keeping a second place right here in downtown rather than opening it in some other town because to me it's more manageable. I'm not worried about cannibalizing my own sales because I feel like we put out a good product and we just do a different concept. But, you know, I, I like this town. I really think it, it's, it's where I'd like to be growing our business. It, to me, it just seems like it's on the rise. And, you know, if, if everything keeps going the way it is, I mean, hopefully the next five years will tell a lot. I'd love to be here for the next 20, 30 years if I can. Um, hopefully surrounded by a bunch of other amazing businesses as well.